This is the X1 Carbon from Bamboo, a highly reviewed machine because it prints at a high quality at high speed over and over and over again. And one of the things that I love to do is print with the AMS on top. But when printing with PLA, because this is an enclosed 3D printer, it's best if you open the door. Normally, if the AMS is not on top of the machine, you can take the top off. But when printing PLA with the AMS on top, you kind of have to open the door. Now, this isn't for all PLA materials. Some exhibit this behavior, some do not. It all depends upon the chemistry. But the reason we do this is because as temperatures build up inside the enclosed 3D printer, the hot end can no longer maintain a proper heat break, and that's how we start to get jams. So I found a model over on printables. What it does is provides a shelf on top of the X1 carbon for the AMS to sit. Inside, it has a spot to put the top glass and put it a little bit higher to get that venting action without having to take the AMS off and without having to open the front door. And so what I did is I loaded up some Polymaker Polylite PLA into my X1 carbons and I printed out the pieces. They all printed in this orientation. I increased the walls to three just because I wanted some stability to it. And just, to, you know, I wanted it to be a little bit stronger and infill at 15% gyroid, the best infill. The bridging that the printer had to do across these sections actually looks really, really good. So on this one, a bit of an overhang, just a bit, a tiny one, which would have required support as well. The machine was able to reproduce it and not fail. And uh, there's a little bit of stragglers of filament there, but I, you know, it's a functional print. And so even if it doesn't look as pretty as it can, I think it's still gonna serve a purpose and so I'm not terribly worried about it. To connect these pieces, there are these little bow tie butterfly connectors and they slide into specific, specific, <laughs> specific holes where these join up. So as an example, these would kind of go like this and right here, and right here are two halves of that, that bow tie butterfly connector. So you put them together, you slide that piece into place and it locks it in. So now all we have to do is assemble this and put it on the machine and see if it behaves as advertised and make me happy. <laughs> Look at that, that was fully, just in a couple pieces, printed on the X1 Carbon. Well, let's take the AMS down, put this on top and see if it fit. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Zoomed out a little bit, we can get a good, clear picture of this. The AMS, we can just set off to the side because we don't have to fully take it apart. Here is the glass on top. So it rests in just like that. But what you can do is put it above this top one and look at that, you can vent it just a little bit, just a little bit, or I believe you can put it all the way at the top and vent it even more. I'm kind of excited about this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, it fits. Let's, let's put this in. Okay, and now the AMS on top. Oh, look at, look at that. That is cool. That is, is really, really cool. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, this is, this is so, so cool. Obviously, if you have an X1 carbon, an X1, um, a P1P or a P1S, this is gonna work for you, especially if you wanna keep your AMS on top. Now, some people keep it to the side if they have the space for that, and that's great because then you can just lift the glass off no problem. For those of us that like to have the AMS on top, I think this is a fantastic solution. And I'll put a link to this version of the model down in the description. I think there's a lot of different mods like this. Search for them if you're if you're actually into modifying this. Uh, this is, so if you, if you look at me, I just, I wanna end on something a little bit personal here. If you look at me, and you know, typically I've got my hair done up and however it's supposed to look. I've got a clean shirt on, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes what I like to do is 3D print stuff because I enjoy the hobby. When I first got a 3D printer, it was because 
I wanted to geek out about it and I enjoyed it as a hobby. I printed things and I didn't tell anyone about it. I just printed them because I enjoyed it. Part of what this feels like to me is enjoying the hobby. And so I was really excited to tell you about it because I felt a renewed sense of passion. Building a functional part for this, and it was something that I needed. I just, you know, it's the holidays. I'm wearing a hat, I got my hoodie on, we're running around town running errands. What if I turned on the camera for a little bit and just showed you a really fun project? I'm so thankful to have you here. I'm thankful that I'm able to bring you cool stuff and I'm thankful that you made it this far in the video because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, functionally print all the things, huh? And as always, high five.